I know there's a lot of other things we want to cover today, too. Um, one of which is so it was graduation weekend at Illinois State University, our university that we that we both attended. Um, and so I want to talk a little bit about this story from a historical standpoint uh, from you. And, and then I'll bring in kind of a little bit of the political and social stuff as well. Um, but so I go to Illinois State University. Josh attended Illinois State University. And uh, in, a, in an article, according to Campus Reform, Illinois State University set to hold segregated graduation ceremonies. Illinois State University is set to hold segregated identity-based graduation ceremonies for the class of 2023. So this happened over the weekend. Uh, the first of these, called the, quote, Lavender Graduation, will honor LGBTQIA plus uh, students. It, then it goes on to list. The reason why I got confused is because then it goes, lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer, intersex, and ace-identified graduates. Um, and so... The ceremonies will be hosted by registered student organizations in collaboration with the school's multicultural center over the course of the month. If you're listening on the radio right now, this is very, very local to us. This is ISU, the, the school, and these, uh, according to the school, these ceremonies provide, quote, opportunities for our underrepresented students to celebrate their success and graduation in a unique way. The first of these, called the Lavender Graduation, which happened on April 22nd, so a little over a week ago, according to a press release, honored the LGBTQIA people following this, though, the school planned to hold a Nuestros Logros, uh, a ceremony which will recognize Latino, Latina, L Latinx, <laughs> Latinx, yeah, Latinx graduates. And then following this is the MAPS. And no, that's not minor attracted persons like we've <laughs> talked about before. No, this one's about uh, Middle Eastern, Asian Pacific Islander and Southeast Asian graduates. The first ceremony uh, or the final ceremony was Umoja, which is the black graduation celebration, will honor students of African descent and from African diaspora on May 11th. Campus, campus Reform previously reported on dozens of schools hosting similar ceremonies. Among them was ISU, which defended the ceremonies in 2022, saying, quote, it wants to make sure all students are recognized and, and acknowledged for their contributions to the university. Um, which is crazy to me. So the university said, and I want to get your take on this, Josh, but it's crazy to me that they say that this is for wanting to make sure all students are recognized and acknowledged for their contributions to the university. But where is my Irish Americans? Graduation yeah. Ceremony? Yeah. Where, where's, where's my Italian American? Yep. Or even just like, if they want to, if they want to bring it all down to just like skin color, where's the white American? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why, why, why not? Me, and I, and I love, I mean, cause I, I, they just made a post. ISU made a post on their Instagram not long ago talking about this. And one of the first, one of the comments that that's it's even you can see it says, "Great pictures." I see you mentioned the LGBTQIA plus celebration in the caption, but I don't see any pictures. Why aren't there any pictures? And it's like so they can't even, you know, they're they're having these separate these separate graduation ceremonies, and then they still can't keep people happy because they're not posting all the pictures. And it's like this is the game that you put yourself in is you can never satisfy everyone enough. Yeah. And I, right. I don't, I mean, they, they reap what they sow. I, I don't blame them. And they said like, oh, there, there's more in our picture and we're going to post more and it'll include some. It's like, oh, okay. So, I mean, you have these separate ones and then you don't post the pictures. I mean, I didn't even get a proper graduation when I graduated because it was, yeah. uh, it was still in the middle of COVID. So I didn't actually get to do the stage walking. I did a private stage walking. I didn't go to my commencement because it was just go listen to a speech and leave. I don't care. You know, I didn't get a proper stage walking. And so you're going to sit here and say, you know, there's these separate ones. I didn't even get a proper one. And I, you know, I feel kind of robbed in a weird way. Mm -hmm. And it's like, that's not fair. Yeah. I pulled up this post this year's cultural graduation recognition events celebrated all these different identity groups. And if you're on YouTube or Facebook, you can see some of these pictures. Um, it's just all about posting. It's all, it, that's really what I think it is about. It's all about virtue signaling. It's not actually, I don't even think it's about actually celebrating these students. It's about virtue signaling. Mm -hmm. Because there's a, there's a sense of of woke capital that is provided to the university uh, for doing this, for for pushing the the tokenism. I mean, that's really what it is too. I, I can't believe that the left actually wants this kind of stuff because this seems so much like tokenism. Because the same people that are begging for these kind of graduation ceremonies, I can tell you, as a, as a student on this campus, I hear it. The same students that are begging for these kind of graduation ceremonies are also the same students that say that uh, that we don't have enough representation and that there's not enough people of color at ISU. There's not enough people of color, uh, like professors and stuff. And they just need all, they need everything. Like you said, they'll never be actually satisfied. With yeah. It. Right. Well, I mean, and if you think about it, I mean, there was a time where black people can even go to college. Women couldn't go to college. 
you know, I get it. So we, should we celebrate the fact that everyone's going to college now? Absolutely. I think that's a great thing. That's a great thing that we've fixed that as a country and, we, and we've really come to that. But then just say, okay, we're now, you know, we're now integrated to go back to, well, that's still not good enough. You need to separate. Why, why shouldn't you want to celebrate with everyone together in your, you know, in your major or in your, in your school and to be like, look, we are all one red bird. You know, they say red bird family. We're one red bird family then. There's no separation. If you're in a club and, and your club wants to host a tiny, you know, hey, we're going to host a graduation ceremony for this group. Okay, that's fine. Your club can do that. You know, I've seen like fraternities do that. Like, hey, we're going to celebrate our graduating for, you know, our uh, graduating, you know, members. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. I think it's actually really cool. And I would say that's that's great. But the fact that it's like university sponsored and that they're really pushing this, it's, it's kind of ridiculous. And again, it goes back to weren't we fighting for integration now we're saying okay but we're going to segregate because we want to well yeah you're going backwards absolutely absolutely it's it's bringing us and i just think it's crazy that we live in 2023 and we still have this segregation we Mm -hmm. still because because okay so the thing that's the thing that's even more crazy to me is uh that we have it's 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 it's, this is a public institution right like i can kind of understand it from private institutions but this is taxpayer money this is this is a taxpayer funded segregation right that's like i feel like there's i feel like somebody should bring a lawsuit forward i feel like somebody should bring a lawsuit based on the 13th 14th and 15th amendments that you're not allowed to treat a race differently or the the equal rights amendment or the equal rights amendments or or different equal rights laws that we have exactly i mean those laws passed to make sure that everyone could be together and that was the whole point was separate but equal was not equal that Mm -hmm. was the whole argument with uh brown versus board of education was they said Separate but equal is not equal. We cannot do that. So Absolutely. if that was the argument, let's stick to that. I mean, let's mm-hmm. stick to the to the woods of Thurgood Marshall. He was one of our, I mean, one of the best lawyers in that case, one of the best justices we've ever had. Let's stick to that and say, hey, separate but equal is not equal. So we are either all together or we're not. That's what it comes down to. Absolutely.